we're here at McCarthy Beach State Park. And you know, it's really unique. The park itself is this piece of land that's surrounded by two different lakes. So on one side, you have Sturgeon Lake, and the other side, you have Side Lake. Sturgeon Lake, it was named one of the top 17 beaches in North America by Highway Magazine. The food that you want to pack up to go out into the woods, especially if you're going camping, is you want to keep it very simple. So literally, this dish is just meat and potatoes, but we took a little twist to it. One of the things like growing up, and especially you know, in college when a few of us would go camping together, we just kept everything very simple. This is something that we would basically make when we go out camping together. You know, but now we just change it up a little bit here and there, add a little squeeze of lime here and there. But overall, this is what we cooked about 15 years ago when we would go camping out. Today, we're gonna to be making coffee rub ribeye steak. And alongside of that, we're gonna do grilled zucchini and squash, which is my favorite dish in the summer. So we're gonna start with this ribeye. Now, I'm really excited. So when you look at a ribeye, you have two parts here. You have the deco, which is the outside part of the ribeye, and then you have the center cut, or, or actually the ribeye itself, this is the eye. Now, we have this um, coffee rub, which is made with uh, our friends at Folly Coffee. Uh, we take their beans, we um, grind it down, and we mix it with some Szechuan peppercorns and some Korean chili flakes, coriander, cumin, and a few other different little spices. And so why we use the coffee is the coffee gives it this deep, rich, um, kind of smoky flavor to it. Um, and then the Szechuan peppercorn gives that kind of that numbing sensation. So it has a really great combination together. What I did really uh, different with our grill today is that I, I split the grill into two sides. Half the side has the coals on it, so that's our heat side, our, our hotter side, and the other half doesn't have much heat to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're sear it really well on this side, and then we'll rest it on this side, and as it slowly cooks to, to the temp that we want it to cook to. The first thing I always do is you take a little bit of oil. Just take a little bit of oil on both sides. Again, remember, salt from six inches up. So this seasoning that we have, this coffee rub seasoning that we make in-house, we actually don't put any salt in it. So you can control the salt. So we're gonna throw salt on one side here, and we'll just flip it on the other side. Add salt, we're gonna grab our coffee rub here, and we're gonna just put it right down. And you wanna spread that out evenly on the other side, coffee rub. Okay, so once you have this, what you're gonna do is you got that, I have that, my hot side is on the left, and my cooler side is on the right, so I'm just gonna throw this right on. And right away, like I've said before many times, you cook with all your senses, right? So when you drop that, the wind is actually hitting me. I can smell that coffee rub. I can hear it, it's sizzling. I can hear that fat starting to go. As you could tell, you know, we, we're going here already, and right away, look, I'm flipping that. That crust, it's so beautiful. You see how it's just sizzling? The crust is starting to build on there. So as I'm flipping, I'm looking at the crust and I'll keep flipping and flipping. And if, if the side gets too hot, that's why you have that cooler side. So you can just take your steak and move it over to the other side. What I have here is we have some zucchini and some squash. This is a very, very, very simple prep. You're gonna just take your uh, zucchini, cut it right in half. A lot of people, they grill a zucchini and squash, they grill it on really low heat. And the problem when you grill it on low heat is that it actually just steams it. You're not really grilling it, you're not really charring it, you're not pulling out all those sugars, and that's what you're really trying to do here. Again, just cut it right down the middle. This is a little canola oil, and we just throw a little oil on top. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some salt, again, six inches up, and you're just gonna dust it with salt on this side. And there, that's the prep. That's all you have to do, pretty much done. Now the problem with zucchini and squash is a lot of people overcook it. And when you overcook it, what happens to the zucchini and the squash is it just becomes super mushy and it almost disintegrates. So again, we're doing this on high heat. You wanna keep control of it and you don't want to overcook it. So we have this high heat on this side. We're gonna take our steak. We're gonna scoot our steak over a little bit. Zucchini here, grab my squash. I'm gonna lay it right down on the heat. You wanna grill it like 60, 70% of the way on this side and then we're gonna flip it and to, onto the skin side down, 
we're gonna grill that for another like you know three or four minutes and then pull it off. Now you're gonna say, hey, our, my, my zucchini, my squash is not fully cooked. You don't want to cook them all the way. If you pull your zucchini and your squash off and it's like very limp and it's bending, that means you're overcooked it. You still want a little texture to it. And remember that the residual heat, when you pull it off the grill, the residual heat's gonna keep it cooking. So these zucchini and squash are perfect. As you can tell on this side, we, it's nicely charred and we want that. So we're just gonna pull this off. Again, there's still a little firmness to it. And we're just gonna do just some large cuts, just some large bias cuts here. And while this is still hot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little salt and then we're just gonna finish it off with some lemon here. So again, just put your hands over so you catch those seeds. We're just gonna toss it and that's basically it. So the next thing is very exciting. I call these cowboy chips. We did this in college. Uh, we would have all these guys come over and we would eat. We needed something that was fun to eat, but then we also just didn't want to throw potato on the grill. So we just called them cowboy chips. I kind of made it up the name. So uh, basically what we're going to do is you're going to just take your potato. We parboil them. And something you do if you're out camping, you just take a bunch of your uh, of your potatoes and you just wrap it in tinfoil and you just throw it into the fire and they'll just kind of roast them. So you want to just parboil them or, or, or roast them off like that. It's really simple. And we just take our knife and we just cut them into thick pieces here. We're gonna put our oil on top. Again, you're gonna put some salt. We're just gonna take the potatoes and throw them right on. Again, just always remember to season both sides when you're grilling anything. And what we're really doing, since the potatoes are already cooked, what we're really doing is we're just really trying to give it that good, nice, beautiful crust. Because you have that uh, crust, which is going to be a little charred, a little smoky. <laughs> Now, to start with these cowboy chips, you know, every time you, we eat fried potato chips, I love dipping it in like almost like a ranch dressing. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna make almost kind of a Greek yogurt sauce to this. So it's very simple. So we're gonna take some Greek yogurt and you really want Greek yogurt in this because um, you want something that's very thick. We're gonna take some Korean chili flakes. And then I really love the taste of cumin. So we're gonna throw in some cumin in there. What we have next is we have some cucumbers, some diced cucumbers. We're gonna throw that right in there. Throw in some salt. We have some garlic and you know, I'm just gonna take some garlic, quickly chop it up and toss it in there. So we're gonna add the garlic right in. We're gonna throw some lemon juice in there. Last, we're gonna add a little bit of fish sauce in here. So that really rounds it out. It gives it this uh, umami, very savory flavor. You just wanna stir it in. You wanna mix it, incorporate it really well. So here we have our Greek yogurt dip. So we have our steak here. Remember we have, there's two parts of that steak. That you have that deckle that's on the outside and then you have the eye that's on the center there. So, yep, looks beautiful here. Now we get to show you the final product. Everything's put together here. We have our coffee rub ribeye right here on the back. We have these beautifully grilled zucchini and squash right here. Our cowboy chips with our Greek yogurt sauce.